Hi, I'm Luke Searbell. This is uh, John Roche, and we're here with Rod Gammons, and we're at Profoto. Profoto booth, and we're looking at some new units that they're rolling out here. And uh, first, you've got a big panel. We Tell do. us about it. Yeah, so this is the brand new uh, Profoto LP2000C. And uh, the first thing to say about it is it's the world's brightest ever soft panel. So 2,000 watts really packs a punch. Um, now, one of the things that's surprising for that is not only is it incredibly uh, bright, but it's also incredibly lightweight. So typically, panels in this size can be around 125 pounds in weight. This is just 59 pounds. So maybe you could do the honors for us, John. And uh, Oh, yeah, that is not bad at all. Right? And for, you know, like a 60-year-old guy. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> exactly. One of the other reasons. Yeah, that is, that is surprisingly light. Right? Oh, you got little rollers on it. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's what we're trying to do here is, is make life easy for people. Yeah. Um, the second thing you'll notice is there's no ballast. So we built that right into the head. So again, from a rigging point of view, it just keeps things really simple. So it's very, very easy to use. Just a power cable. Just a power cable. And full color. Full color. So this is RGBWW. We have a new uh, light engine we call the Profoto Core Lighting Engine. So we're not Pro having what? Again? Core Lighting core Engine. Light. Core. Okay. And uh, that's enabled us to get a super high SSI of 86, uh, TLCI of 98. Uh, so just beautiful skin tones, saving time in post, um, and making sure it looks right in camera. Um, the other thing about this is that it's IP65, so fully ready for any weather conditions. We've also designed a couple of really nice little details that make quite a nice uh, improvement to quality of life, let's say. We have this great 360 degree aluminum rail system, so it's just it's really easy to grab. And the light is also designed to be mounted in any orientation, so you can have it both horizontally or vertically. Now, there are some panels that have issues when vertically they overheat or they don't like being there for a particularly long period of time. This is happy being left 24 hours a day in a vertical orientation because of the ventilation we have here. And talking about that, maybe you could have a quick listen, but these fans yeah. are on full tilt right now. Yeah, I can't hear anything from here. It's, it's completely and totally silent. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's not just, I remember you telling me the other day, it's not just the fans that are cooling this, there is some sort of... Is it liquid cooling or what, what, what's going on in this? So uh, in this one, we have something we call uh, C-Tech. In the 600, we're going to talk about in a second, we have ah, a liquid cooling system. Okay, okay. But the, the beautiful thing with this is because the way we've designed, it's an aluminum bat system, huge amount of ventilation through here. And we're running very large fans, but running them very slowly. Mm. So uh, they often don't come on at all. But when they do come on, that is as loud as they get, which is totally silent. The other thing to say about this is, uh, of course, this has the latest Lumen Radio CRMX, and we actually paid Blackout to do the DMX uh, integration for us. Uh, that was something Gaffer said, is make sure it works great with Blackout. Um, we've also put in uh, an emulation of... Uh, wait, wait, wait. So you're listening to people? <laughs> We're trying our best. We're trying our best. And uh, we've also put an emulation of some popular profiles. So if you want this to, you know, for example, the Flex profile from Cream Source, we have an emulation of that in here. So if you want this to uh, work in the same manner on a desk, uh, just tries to keep things a little bit easy for people. We have our own app, which is uh, free of charge, that works for both iOS and desktop. So I, can, uh, I have full access to the whole menu system. I can dim the light down very quickly. I can even change things like my DMX maps, my fan control. Uh, rename the light so I can name right. it as key, you know, mm -hmm. whatever I want to do. Bertha. Um Yeah, absolutely. I guess uh, one of the other things to talk about is that uh, for those not f familiar with the brand, you know, Profoto has been around for 60 years, mm -hmm. traditionally in the stills market. Uh, but one thing that we're really famous for is our, our build quality. So this is a European design, European manufactured. And one of the questions gaffers often ask us is to say, well, hey, like, how do I service this? You know, people are rough on these things. Yeah. Uh, so in the, in the US here, we have a service center both on the West Coast in Marina del Rey and uh, on the East Coast. And we uh, guarantee 72 hour turnaround time on any repair. And if we can't do it, we will advance replace the unit. It's impressive. Right? It's very impressive. Um, and out of the box, three year warranty as standard. Um, so, you know, we know people can't afford downtime. Yeah. And uh, we want to make sure uh, this delivers. Um, no, one thing I want to ask you. Um, yeah. oh, earlier was you mentioned you could switch this to a vertical orientation correct is that simply yeah. how does that yeah happen? so ba yeah. so basically you just uh, you, you loosen off the, the yoke and yeah. we have an m tem thread on the side yep um so uh, it's a little l bracket simple m tem thread goes in mm. 10 seconds right and then uh mounts to a standard like half inch uh, uh, gotcha. truss okay something like that um so very very quick to do and the other nice way of doing that is that 
because it's so slimline, you can butt the lights right up against each other. Right. Um, you know, and have them all the way up the truss very simply. I guess, sorry. And then, uh, yeah, the other thing you mentioned was the integration with, yeah. Right. With the softbox. Yeah, so we, we teamed up in a collaboration with uh, Stefan at DFP Choice. And uh, Stefan has designed for us uh, two snapbacks for this. So we have a, a shallower four by three, which we can see up here on the, on the truss. Maybe if uh, our cameraman can pan around and show this wonderful uh, four by three we have up here. And then we also have a six by five. Um, now this is of course very large, but if you have- It's a nice size. This it's is a, it's yeah. a great nice size and amount of output. Right, yeah. Um, both of which uh, come with a half stop and a one stop. Yeah, it does seem to give you a nice edge to edge. It does. Is there an internal diffuser here? No. I, this is actually just a standard, standard one stop. Okay. Yeah. Um, we have snap grids available for the snap bag, right. or we have a snap grid that can mount direct to the head. Right. Um, and uh, two bits of feedback we also said to gaffers to say, what don't you like about current systems? Other, how could we improve it? So, two bits of feedback we had was that on the larger ones, there can often be a bit of a sag issue in the middle, as you can see here. We fixed that. There's no sag whatsoever. It's it's. Uh, These seem really beefy too. The yeah. the internal, yeah. uh, you know, um, rods. Whatever. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. And then there's like some uh, this kind of thing too. That's yeah. seems really beefier. reinforced. Yeah. Very yeah. very rugged. Um, now maybe if we could go around the back and take a look at this. There's a second innovation we've designed on this uh, snap bag here. Something we call the speed clamp system. And so one of the other bits of feedback, if we can spin this around, there we go, is that you can see right on here, uh, <clears throat> we were told that, again, it can be a bit of a problem when you're trying to put a large snapback on a large head. You yeah. need two guys, you've got a yeah. velcro, it's, it can be a bit fiddly. Yeah. So with this system here, it just clips right on, onto the edge, locks in, and you click it in. And it locates itself very, very simply. So one guy now can put it right on the head, right. 10 seconds, clamp it into place and this is this is not going anywhere you know this is yeah. completely rock yeah. solid yeah so uh you know what we've tried to do with this light in general is yeah. to make people's life easier you know it's faster to mount yeah. it's lighter and it's brighter so just, that just sounds like a slogan <laughs> there you go <laughs> so it's just um in terms of the color emitters i think it's rgbww yeah but you've got more than one white emitter or is uh, that that's in the, the 600. 600. Okay, that's in the 600. That's our yeah. transition. That's, that's the transition. transition. There you go. So, you know, this caught my eye immediately because this is a 600 full color. And, you know, as a, as a video guy is coming up in the film biz, I was always sort of envious of the stills guys because they had this line of pro photo stuff, which we never use uh, because we were motion, right? And um, so to see you guys sort of transition into our biz uh, with all these different, you know, pro photo accessories, I thought was really exciting. Yeah. Um, and you started with the 1800 watt daylight, um, uh, and now into something full color really got me excited. So talk us through how this is different than other stuff. Out there. Yeah, absolutely. So this is the Profoto L600C, which we're showing, uh, debuting here at Cinegear. And um, I guess the first thing to say about this that you'll notice is there is no ballast whatsoever. So, you know, very commonly other 600 watt heads will always have quite a big, heavy ballast. So this saves a lot of time in, in setup. Uh, the other thing about this, talking about the color technology, yeah. which you asked about, is that we're all familiar with RGBW 10 years ago. Yeah. WW is now prominent. This is the world's first triple white. And why did we do that? Uh, we did that because uh, typically you're having to blend RGB in through the white range to be able to uh, get that extended range of color. With this, it's allowed us to minimize the extent to which we have to do that. So as a result of that, when you measure the SSI on this light, we're getting 90. 90 in daylight at 56. Right, okay. and we're getting uh, a TLCI of 99. You know, so that is one of the it's highest. Yeah, yeah exceptional. really exceptional. Yeah. And, and, th and that's what we've designed here. This is truly, we believe, for a 600, the best color rendering out, out there. Yeah. Um, saves you time and, and eliminates time in post-production. The other thing that's nice with this is the way we were able to do the uh, no ballast is that this has something we call Hydro -Tech, which is a patented liquid cooling system. Mm. And so one of the other advantages is that we often heard from gaffers, some of the 600 out there can be a bit noisy. Yeah. So, you know, if you take a listen to this, uh, if I turn this on, that's it. That's as loud as that gets. Is there only one fan speed? Uh, because uh, you, you, don't... you can also yeah. adjust it. So it has yeah. an automatic uh, right. control, but if you want to, you can turn it off and it will right. limit the, uh, output. the output. Um, talking of which, one cool feature is yeah. 
which also applies to the panel, by the way, is you can actually go into the light and you can tell it uh, that I want to limit the input power. So if you're trying to run multiple heads off one fuse, um, I can say I now want you to be a 400 watt light. Uh, and it rescales the brightness, so now 100% okay. is only 400 watts, and I could get it multiple really heads off a single fuse. How many steps of wattage difference can you? Um, so, for do? example, we can take this 2,000 watt light down to a 400. Mm -hmm. um, so this feature is in both. Correct. Got it. Yeah, okay. which is I think is uh, those That's little details. Feature. Yeah. Uh, and both of these, you know, including the 2,000 watt uh, soft panel, can be run just off a standard 15 amp household, sure. uh, you know, socket, which is great at full power. What you'll also notice here with the, with the Pro Photo system is that uh, we have a brand new Fresnel, which we're also showing uh, for the show. Uh, this has a manual flood spot adjustment uh, on this. And uh, this gives me everything from 14 degrees up to uh, just under 50 degrees uh, nice. of, of control and spread. Um, the light is standard, as you see on here. One of the other nice things is we have this Pro Photo mounting system. So it's very, very simple to put things on and off. Uh, of the light and the pro photo mount is as simple as uh, this little clamp here so to put a reflector on you know it takes literally seconds and uh, yep. the beautiful thing with the pro photo system is we have you know 60 years of heritage of designing yep. some of the best light shapers yep. out there so we have 50 modifiers everything from beauty dishes to three foot four foot five foot octaves grids doors 50? 50 five zero five zero yep. um, and you know stuff like the beauty dish yes has been something a lot of you know yeah. cinematographers and gaffers have been getting really excited about having the option to yeah. use something like that now you also have uh the grids right as well for a lot of these dishes maybe all these dishes. that's right yeah. yeah so every single reflector we have uh you can mount a grid to it or doors as well yeah. if, if you would yeah. like to do that um, i mean that's something in new york we've been starting to play with more is on various brands of lights is you know putting various degree grids on the front to control so the fact that you guys already have that that's right sort of out of the box ready to go is really really nice we've been like taping <laughs> taping stuff to it that's a great feature and you know yeah. in terms of the weight you know it's this is light it's 13 it is. pounds yeah you know so again typically 600s in this range yeah. are usually 25 pounds or so yeah um so yeah it's very very light yeah light quiet bright and uh yeah interesting and then uh where do we where are we price wise yeah that's a good question that's a good question yeah so for the 600 uh c uh we're at 3995 uh us we have a daylight version of this which is 2995 the daylight is twice the output so right. this is 75,000 lux at one meter the daylight is 140,000 lux uh, one meter mm -hmm. Uh, and then the 2000, the LP2000C, 12995. Now, does it uh, comes with a case, no case, case so, is optional? Uh, yeah. With the LP2000C, this yeah. comes with a one-stop dome diffuser, a standard. Okay. It does not come with a case. Uh, okay. We've teamed up with case manufacturers on the west and east coast who will offer flight cases custom right. designed for this. Uh, which is just more convenient. Some people want cases that will take two or four or right. single heads. Right. Um, with this, this does come with a case. This will come with a soft bag. Um, and uh, we have a, a wide range of... Uh, What's included, like when you just get the light, you get the case, you get this, and you get one reflector or something? Or? Uh, with this we have, just because we have such okay. a wide range of reflectors. Oh, so you let people choose what we let people want. choose what they want. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you get your regional cable and, and that right. bag. Yeah, absolutely. So that's what you get. And then what, what's going on here? Yeah, so this is, uh, the idea with this is that depending on where you've mounted the reflector, mm -hmm. you can get a completely different beam angle spread. So we actually guide, for, if you can see on this one, for example, the, at position 10, this is a 72 degree beam, but at position six is 48. So, you know, it gives you a lot of control and gives you that, you know, ability to uh, really yeah. direct the light as you, as you want. And then this is a, 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 slight, a slight diffuser to bring the colors together? Yeah, bring it together and uh, really make sure we activate the, the reflector um, in the way we want to. But this, none of this comes off? No, this, this, this is, is the diameter is, uh, Profoto has a standard 100 mil mount, which accommodates all of our uh, reflectors, soft boxes. So this is the, the Profoto mount. Gotcha. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Also, I think you mentioned to me yesterday that you guys have come up with a Bowens mount to Profoto adapter. So if people were interested in trying out some of these, I mean, the other Bowens mount lights, that's 
coming out in the near future? That's right, yeah. So we, we also launched uh, in a BSC in February a, a 1600D, which is right. our replacement for an M18. So, you know, it's, uh, it's actually brighter than an M18. Uh, very, very punchy, integrated saw wheel yoke. And, and that product is natively Bowen's mouth. But it also comes with a Boeing's Pro Photo adapter, which we also sell separately. Uh, so yeah, we've made that available right. should people want to use a right. Pro Photo accessory uh, yeah. on a uh, Boeing's Mount Life. Excellent. I think we covered this, and then I mean, the last sort of uh, go round of, of uh, promotion was for the 900, right? Or I mean for the uh, 1600D. 1600D, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. Right. So is there 1600D, and then what? What's the next down? Uh, now 600D or C. Okay. Um, okay. And then up, we have the the 2000. And then, is the roadmap to make this larger but full color, or just to uh, stay daylight on the upper end and and color lower end? Um, I mean, you know, we don't we don't necessarily talk about future plans, but what I can say is that, you know, as you can see here at, at Cinegear, you know, Profoto is investing heavily into this space and market. Yeah. And, you know, with these products, we've we've really listened to what gaffers were asking us for. Um, they wanted to something to have something that was ballast free, that was lightweight, that was powerful, um, and would save them time. And same thing with this. Um, you know, so. Uh, you know, Profoto is going to going to be here to stay for a while, and we're yeah. we're very excited about these these new products. So fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah, thanks for showing us. Yeah, uh, I, yeah it's yeah, we really appreciate yeah. it. Uh, it's it's interesting to see, you know, as we are working on more jobs with stills and video together. Uh, I mean, it's been growing over the the years, but definitely seeing more of it, and then to see the manufacturers come over uh, is interesting too. So uh, that's cool. It's very cool, and actually, on that note, I mean, one thing briefly to mention is that these also flash. So ah. this has our Profoto Air receiver system inside. These also flash. That's right. So you can use these for. You can, um, and the advantage with oh. that is that this is the world's first RGB flash. So this oh. will flash in any gel, <laughs> in any white light, in any HSI color, um, and it does so high speed sync, with yep. no recycle time. Now it's not more exposure in flash mode, so you might say, well, why would you want it to flash? Right. Right. The answer is, you know, for the talent, if you're doing a whole day shoot, staring at a 600 watt light, that can yep. be quite cumbersome. Yep. Likewise, if you're running this on a battery, like an Instagrid, yep. this is only drawing power when it's, when it's pulsing. So actually right. it would run for infinitely longer in right. that scenario. Right. And then finally, you know, if you were using a traditional Pro Photo, you know, Pro V3 as a key, right. but you want some color as a fill, having it all on the same remote yeah. can be yeah. a nice advantage. Oh, so right, right. For a yeah. hybrid shooter, this is yes. a great option. Yes. But these are predominantly designed for cinema right. uh, use, uh, but uh, it's nice to have that flexibility. I'm definitely finding myself on shoots where the stills people will use the video lighting. So they're, they're, once you've set your levels, they kind of stick with that. Yep. They don't have to be brighter necessarily, yep. which is, it didn't always, wasn't always like that, yep. but now it seems like it is. So. Uh, that's really interesting. That's sort of the, the hidden uh, trick in there. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. We really appreciate cool. it. Thanks for yeah. stopping by. Right on. Cool. Yeah, thanks, thanks. so much. Appreciate it. Yeah.